Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video how I clean my coins. So I'll just select three items out of my uh, vitrine here. Uh, some things that I haven't really been able to clean lately. Alright, let's just take this one. This is a Merc Dime. Uh, I guess it's silver. My wife just found this a couple of days ago. What else? Let's take this coin. This is a World War II Nazi coin. Uh, 50 finning. Also a very beautiful coin. And let's take some jewelry. How about just take this beautiful ring here. Seems to be a little bit older, but it has a 925 stamp in there. Okay, uh, I'll show you what I'm will be using, and uh, we'll get started. Hey guys, this is the stuff I will be using. It's called Never Dull. It's from America. Uh, pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, all you bikers out there probably know what it is. It's uh, very good for uh, cleaning up chrome. Uh, Let's see what it actually says. It's all in German though. Okay, it cleans up uh, chrome, silver, gold. Uh, messing is uh, brass, uh, copper, zin, zinc, light metal, and steel. Takes off rust, tar, and all other, you know, dirty stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, try this stuff out. And just test it. So I just smelled it, and uh, I don't know, strange kind of smell, chemically. Somehow got a piece of rag to clean it. So let's just take a little rip out of here. It's just like you know, cotton. And let's start with the mark. I have no idea how long this will take, but we'll just start rubbing it in. Put the cloth underneath. Ah, it does take a little while though, but it's starting to shine. See how bad chewed up that it is. But if you do it long enough, uh, eventually it really starts to shine. So let's try the other coin. Uh, this is made out of aluminum. Uh, 50 fennings from World War II, Hitler. Let's see how it works on aluminum. Oh, seems to work a little bit better than on that uh, Mark 9. Wow, even a lot faster too. Beautiful coin. But like I say, I think that little can costs uh, about six euros. It's about six, seven dollars here in uh, here in Germany. Let's see if I can get the camera focus, focused. Ma magic wadding polish. So that's uh, pretty cool. Really makes the coins look nice. Like I say, you just uh, need to put a little effort in it. But I'll make before and after photos of this stuff. Awesome. Really love these old German coins. Really nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Taking all that dirt off. Used to spend hours on cleaning my gold wing with this stuff. That's why I want to sell it. I ain't got no time to clean it no more. Nice bike though. Yeah, look at this. Works great. Absolutely. 
Really awesome. Real nice. Oh yeah, you can clean, and the more you clean, the cleaner it gets, you know? But somehow, if you uh, like look at it, I got like the main 50 fitting and the, the riding clean, and uh, it actually looks pretty cool with the black stuff behind there in the background of this coin. Really looks nice. Really awesome. All right, let's take the ring. Beautiful ring I found. First I thought it was like some type of middle age ring or something, but there's a stamp in there and as far as I know, they didn't stamp stuff like that until about 18, 1900, somewhere in there. Oh yeah, get shiny right away. Well, about five minutes working on this uh, ring starting to look really good like I say the more effort you put in it the nicer it's gonna be well they got shiny okay guys that's how I do my cleaning I also got an ultra sonic water cleaner but uh, not always that good okay guys after uh, a good half an hour of rubbing and shining and uh, yeah the Coins turn out beautiful, absolutely fantastic. Very nice. Here's the Merc. Uh, a little bit tougher on this one. I couldn't somehow get the black away. I have no idea. But still, I can see a date. I can see a face of the coin. Uh, came out very beautiful. I'm very happy with it. The ring also. Look at that. Nice and shiny. So, that's how I do it. All right, guys, hope I could help you out here. I wish you all a nice day, happy hunting, good luck, and see you in the next video. Take care.